Hi dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. As we all know, when we are planning to move to any English speaking countries for a study purpose or job purpose or for migration, we need to pass some English language proficiency test like uh, IELTS, OET or PTE. In this video, we will be discussing about IELTS and how we can prepare for IELTS from home and the various techniques and tips and all throughout this video I will be incorporating the manner in which I have prepared for the IELTS examination so I think it will be beneficial for you as well and as you all know this IELTS is internationally accepted test and almost all the countries are accepting uh, this test as an English proficiency test so I will be uploading uh, lots and lots of videos in relation to IELTS preparation and uh, I will be discussing each and every modules in detail so please subscribe to my channel for more useful videos. First of all, what is IELTS examination? IELTS is International English Language Testing System and it is the world's biggest English language test. And when we are planning to write the IELTS examination, we should understand almost everything about the test. As we all know, there are four modules that is writing, reading, listening and speaking and each of this module is having different question types and different formats and each of them are time bounded so if you want to perform well in the examination you should understand the formats and the question types and the time frame and the assessment criteria and everything in detail then only you will be able to uh, perform well in the examination and you should clarify almost all your doubts before you are taking a test. There are two different types of IELTS examination, IELTS academic and IELTS general training. And so who will be going to academic IELTS? If you are a person who is going to study some uh, postgraduate or degree level course in an English speaking country or else if you are planning to apply for tier 4 student visa or if you want to get a professional registration in an English speaking country, you need to take IELTS Academy. Otherwise, if you are going to study some uh, below degree level course or for any work related training, then you can take general training. So whatever may be the case, if you have decided to write the examination, first of all, you should set a target and you should identify what is your desired band score or particular purpose. Then. You should do a self-assessment. Through that self-assessment, you should identify what is your level of English. Do you have the sufficient grammatical skills and knowledge? If yes, that's fine. You can go ahead with the IELTS preparation. If no, you need further English training. So as we all know, this IELTS examination is really expensive and we don't want to waste our money simply. So prepare yourself well before and Think wisely, prepare well, and then don't waste your money. If I'm telling you my case, when I decided to write the exam, we had, uh, I know what is my uh, English language proficiency level. And then, first of all, we took a date for the proposed date for the examination. So what is the significance of uh, taking a proposed date for the examination is that you will be able to uh, set clear targets. And so we have a clear date before us. And so we need to finish all the trainings before we are approaching our examination since we don't want to waste our money. So uh, we will be getting better focus. So I suggest you as well to take your proposed examination date well before. Then you need to understand the requirement for your desired band score. If you need to get individual and overall seven, you should be able to understand the requirements for getting that band score. I will explain you clearly in my next video about this. Okay. And then as I had told you just now, for every module, format will be different and also there will be different question types. And IELTS is really a time test. So we don't have any time to waste on the exam day. So you should be familiar with almost all the question type before the exam so that when you are going to the examination, you know what we need to expect. And so it will be making you free from any unnecessary doubts and worries and tensions and everything. And then you need to develop your own techniques and tips to uh, deal with the different question types. I will be 
uploading more and more videos about the techniques and tips which I have developed during my IELTS preparation. So it will be definitely helpful to you. And to be honest, when I started my preparation, I was not doing much well. But when I approached the exam date, I was able to perform very well and I was able to score much more than what, what I was intended to achieve. So, my techniques and tips will definitely help you. I have already started to upload some of my techniques and tips in uh, my own language. I will be uploading English version as well. So, you can watch either the previous videos or else you can wait for the future one. And then, there are so many common topics and there will be some academic level vocabulary. So, you need to increase your vocabulary list. Then only you will be able to perform well for the examination. What I have done is that I was a person who usually won't listen to any other English channels. So, when I decided to write the examination, I started to listen to uh, lots and lots of YouTube videos and especially those those who have scored more than 8 or 7.5 so that I can grab so many new vocabulary and then I, uh, I have maintained a vocabulary book whenever I get time I will be keep on adding some new words into that and I applied these words to new situations so it helped me really well so just try that technique as well and then you need to improve your overall general knowledge and also your language skill even if you are doing some other activities say for example you, know, you may be washing your clothes or you may be washing your some other thing even during that time you can listen to the BBC radio or else you can listen to YouTube videos who have scored more than 8 for their IELTS examination. So it will definitely help you. And then you can listen to loads of news and debate. Everything will help you to expand your English language skills. Then you need to do the practice test without any distraction. Whenever you are doing a writing test, Try to follow all the templates and then do the practice test. If you are doing a reading, just stick on to the time frame and try to finish it on 60 minutes. And that is in the case of listening as well. Everything should be done repeatedly without any distraction. And you may be thinking how we will get the materials for the practice. Actually, this Cambridge IELTS book is the Bible of IELTS training. And so... There are lots and lots of materials available online. Even we can download IELTS Cambridge book free of cost from some site. So download them and practice almost all the tests. When I took my date for the examination, there were only 8 books were available and uh, one Cambridge official book was available and so for each book there will be four tests in the sense for writing, for reading, for listening, everything will be four in one book. So altogether there is eight book practice materials will be there. In addition to that we have IELTS official Cambridge guide is also there. So you need to practice each and every test then without any doubt you will be able to achieve your desired score and then for listening what i have done is that I think if i am going to do the ielts test one in book one i have downloaded all these materials into my computer we took the hard copy or we took the printout so we had the hard copy with us whenever i practice listening i will open the book i will take the necessary part then i will type in the youtube i'll cambridge book one test one listening test then the audio will be playing and then i will be completing the answers in the uh, hard copy which is in my hand that's about listening and then about reading, as I have told you right now, I have already downloaded and printed out all the materials. So I have plenty of materials in my hand. Then about speaking, I will be listening to lots and lots of videos in the YouTube. And also there are lots of topics available. I have prepared my, by myself. If you have a speaking partner, you can speak with them. For me, there was no companion. So what I have done is that I will be just pretending like my child is the examiner and I will be keep on talking with him like I am speaking to an examiner and then I will be recording that video and then whenever I get the time I will be listening to that audio 
again and then I will be making all the necessary changes. Then writing, I have my own techniques and tips that also I will be sharing with you in my future videos, the templates and everything. So when you are approaching the examination, when almost two weeks are left, you can start using this official Cambridge guide. That is almost the exact version of the IELTS examination. So do this official test during the last days. Hope you understood my point. Okay, then we can carry on with our preparation tips. Then, as I have told you just now, when we are practicing speaking, record your audio and then correct yourself. If you have a speaking partner, it will be good. If not, nothing to worry. Just pretend that you, are, you have a partner and then you are speaking to him or her. And then record the audio. Try to correct yourself. Then, another point is that you should develop a clear plan of action. I have already told you that uh, there will be lots of IELTS Cambridge books are available. You can download that and then you should develop your own plan so that you will be able to practice each and every test in the book and then you should be able to correct yourself everything you need to do and you should develop your own plan. Every individual is different. So my plan won't be suitable for you. So you need to develop your own plan. Then we need to practice the speed, speed management and also the time management. Really this IELTS is a time test. So when you are starting your preparation, you won't be able to finish the test on time. But with practice and with your hard work, you can finish everything on time. It is not a big thing. With the practice and practice, you can manage. Then do some full practice test under exam condition. For the exact test, there won't be any break in between the listening, reading and writing session. Altogether, there will be 2 hours and 40 minutes. So you should prepare yourself. You should do uh, 3 or 4 times full practice test under the exam condition. What I have done is that usually I will be doing this full practice test under exam conditions after midnight. When my child and my husband uh, went to sleep, I will be doing this practice test so that there won't be any distractions. First, I will be starting with listening and reading and then I will be doing writing as well. So it really worked out for me. Try to practice that. Then about the formal training, if you don't have any access for formal training, nothing to worry about. It is only your self-determination and your hard work decides your results. It's not the training divisions. They will give you some framework and you are the one who you need to build up. So, if you don't have the access to a formal training center, nothing to worry about. Get materials for training and then work hard, work hard, work hard. Follow the tips and techniques. That's it. Then you need to mentally prepare yourself for the examination. Don't be afraid about the test. Feel free. You will be able to money. Now, there is nothing big in that. So, it's our mental power. Then try to practice some good handwriting. I know it is difficult to change your handwriting over time uh, within a short notice of time. So if possible, try to do your handwriting in a better and legible manner. Otherwise, they won't be able to score you properly. So these all are my important basic tips and techniques. I will be uploading more detailed videos in future. So please subscribe to the channel. It will be definitely helpful to you. Thank you for watching.